Hello there, Scott and Ginger. Hi. Your super fun instructional technology folks here at USAO, and today we want to talk about Doodle. What can you do with Doodle, Ginger? You can do it well. You can <laughs> use it to help you schedule uh, multiple people, and it makes it a lot easier. For, yeah, and so you don't have to send like 5,000 emails, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. Like you send one email from Doodle, it goes to however many people that you want it to go to, and you schedule your event. Mm -hmm. What are some things that we could schedule, perhaps, should we want to? Well, in the past, I've used it to schedule a cabin trip for about 12 people, and that really relieved a huge headache. Oh, gosh. I hadn't thought about it in that way. Or if you're the coordinator of a club on campus and you need mm -hmm. a certain percentage of your club to meet, you could use a doodle poll to organize all of that. Or like an after-hours uh, tutoring session, or your students could use it for uh, group projects when they want to get together. Yeah, indeed. Lots of really cool things that you can do. So free account, paid accounts, there's all kinds of things as always. You can create a free account fairly easily. I've done that and here we sit, ready to create our first event. Mm -hmm. It's relatively simple because you just click schedule an event and it takes you to this to this page where you, you have to give your event an, a name of some sort. Mm -hmm. So. What do we want to call our event, Ginger? Uh, tech Bite Meeting. We'll call it the Tech Bite Meeting. And you can pick a location. So if there's a specific spot on campus or meetings are really fun in restaurants. I mean, yeah. I like to eat. So, <laughs> And then you can put a description in there. If there's things that people need to be aware of, like bring this, do that have this finished before you come to the meeting. Mm -hmm. You can address all of that right here. It's not easy. When Ginger and I talk about a tech bite, we just sit at a desk and talk about tech bite. So I want to move on. And and then what you can do is you, you pick the possible dates. So since I'm organizing this, and let's say, for example, I know Wednesdays are out. I, I cannot participate. Then what I would do is I would, I would, I would click these, I would click these, dates that are actually available so <laughs> after today yeah after today and and so maybe i know that weekends are out and i know that um wednesdays for me no good because of um i have prior commitments so since i'm organizing it i create my calendar right here and once and, and you'll notice that as you pick different dates they show up under the selected dates i go to next and i can put time proposals in for all, all of these things mm -hmm. and so and so it's really great I can also do time zone support which for us we're all in one place yeah <laughs> so but so then I can put in my times you know 8 um, 8 a.m. 9 a.m. and 1 uh, let's try 13 see if that's 1300 1 p.m. there we go and so I can I, I just put those in copy paste first row there we go and now my calendar is ready to basically go to publication mm -hmm. and I can do a, a, a basic poll just what day is best for you to attend this meeting right which is that's all it's asking yeah or I could make some choices so yes no if need be hidden poll uh, participants can only choose one option or limit the number of participants per option. So maybe if you're dealing with a large group of people and there's a limited number of spaces mm -hmm. for that last one. Anyway, we don't need any of those. Um, and then anyone with a link can participate. So just so we can see kind of how things look, I'm gonna send one to Ginger's uh, Gmail account. Whoops, Gmail. And in case she didn't get it there because her phone got lost, uh, I'll also send it to school. And I'm also going to send it to my school account. And so we'll all be able to complete this poll. And there you go. There's, There it is. It's been sent. And I can view this poll at any time by clicking on the view poll. And look, I got an email already. And it shows me the different participants here. So I, I, need, to, I need to vote. And it gives me all the different days that I can vote on. And I can pick the things that work best for me. Mm -hmm. And so Ginger would pick from both of, from one of hers. And what will happen is this matrix fills in and it becomes 
visible who can attend when. Mm-hmm. And I believe it even tells you what the best dates that are showing up um, with you know with the most availability, which is really handy. So there you go. Anything else we need to talk about Doodle? I think that's pretty much it. I think so too. It's pretty easy. Yeah. So we hope you enjoyed this tech bite short enough that your coffee, if you made it and started drinking it before the tech bite started, should still be hot. Yes. And if you have any other ideas for the tech bite, you can email us at the emails you see on the screen right now. How about that? There you go.